coming on the next question. Which of the following is the inhalational anesthetic agent of choice for induction? Inhalational anesthetic agent of choice for induction. For induction, which would be the agent? Word induction and they have asked inhalational agent. Answer is sevoflurane. This sevoflurane, sweet smelling gas, sweet smelling gas for induction, best for induction. Good speed, good speed, fast speed and good smell makes it best agent for induction. Desflurane, respiratory irritant, respiratory irritant. So, since it is respiratory irritant, cannot be used for induction, cannot be used for induction. Isoflurane, again does not have a good smell, ethereal smell, we do not use, try to avoid it for induction. Halothane, sweet, is, it also has a good smell. So, can be used for induction, but not as good as sevoflurane because halothane is slower than sevoflurane. We need to achieve a faster induction with a good smelling gas and sevoflurane fulfills that criteria. So, sevo would be the answer. Okay. Now, coming on the next, which of the following agent is agent of choice for intravenous anesthesia? IVRA. IVRA. What is this IVRA? If you see this image, IVRA is practiced in upper or the lower extremities. Now, Full form of IVRA, intravenous regional anesthesia. So, I am saying regional and we are saying intravenous. Both are contradictory things. So, how do I give regional by IV root? In this, we tie the tunicate, we inflate the tunicate more than the blood pressure of the patient and cut this limb from the rest of the circulation. Then we put an IV cannula and give local anesthetic from this IV cannula. All the nerve fiber of this limb gets anesthetized and this limb is only getting anesthetized. So, I am getting a one region anesthesia and that also by IV root we call it IVRA or it is also called buyer's blog by on the name of the person who, who came up with this blog. So, buyer's blog or IVRA which is the local anesthetic of choice. See guys, if this tunicate opens, the an local anesthetic can go into systemic circulation. They can have a life threatening complication. So, we do not want it to go into systemic circulation. So, how do we avoid it? Uh, simple, uh, how do we minimize the risk? I mean, how we avoid it by inflating the tunicate and keeping it inflated carefully. But if some mishap happens, tunicate opens or some drug can escape in systemic circulation, to increase the margin of safety, we try to use the safest local anesthetic and that is your lignocaine. So, lignocaine is the agent of choice for IVRA. Now, bupivacaine is contraindicated for IVRA. These are the two most important questions of IVRA. Maybe we are contraindicated and ligno agent of choice. Got it? Okay. An emergency patient being resuscitated through primary assessment approach ABCD. What does D stands for? So, what is the primary assessment approach? So, whenever I get a responsive emergency patient, responsive emergency patient, what do we do? we go for primary assessment, primary assessment and primary assessment we have A, B, C, D, E approach. A stands for airway, A stands for airway, B stands for breathing, C stands for circulation, D stands for disability, disability the neurological effect and E stands for exposure, exposure, okay. So, what does D stands for? D stands for disability, got my point? In primary assessment, okay. Then oxygen concentration from 0.25 to 0.45 can be delivered independent of the patient's breathing pattern. The important thing, independent of patient's breathing pattern by which of the following device. Now, guys, independent of the patient's breathing pattern, definitely it has to be high flow fixed FiO2 delivering device, right? It has to be high flow fixed FiO2, fixed FiO2 delivering device. Now, nasal cannula, it is low flow, low flow variable FiO2 delivering device. This is dependent upon the breathing pattern of the patient. Face mask, same low flow variable FiO2 delivering device, venturi mask, 
is the high flow fixed FiO2 delivering device. Venturi mask can deliver even more than 0.45 till 0.6 it can deliver, right? So, it can deliver from 0.25 to 0.60 independent, independent of patient's breathing pattern because it is high flow fixed FiO2 delivering device based on Venturi principle. NRBM again low flow, low flow variable FiO2. Though it can deliver a high FiO2 if patient has a has a stable breathing pattern, but the delivered FiO2 depends upon the breathing pattern of the patient. That is why it is called variable FiO2 delivering device, okay. So, answer is 20 mask, okay. Now, coming on the next question, uh, but before that just see these are images of venti mask in this is the venturi barrel, venturi barrel, this, this is color coded. From this a high flow oxygen is given, it passes through the barrel and room air is entrained and it is color coded and on all the color how many liters of oxygen we have to keep it is written and how much FiO2 it will deliver it is also written. That is for blue one, we have to deliver 2 liter of oxygen and 24 percent FiO2 oxygen it can give. White one, we have to set at 4 liter and 28 percent. Yellow, 8 liters we have to set at and it will deliver 35 percent of oxygen. Red, 8 liters and it will deliver 40 percent. Green, 15 liters and it will deliver 60 percent. This is the highest, best one. This is what we commonly use and this is what you have to remember. Okay. Airway resistance to flow of gases through endotracheal tube is due to. So, why is there resistance or to the flow of gases when the patient is breathing through endotracheal tube? Now, this is the cross section of the trachea and this is the cross section of the trachea with endotracheal tube. Now, this is the ventilating lumen it, with when patient breathe through trachea and this is the ventilating lumen when you are breathing through endotracheal tube. Now, resistance is inversely proportional to the radius power of 4. So, radius decrease, radius decrease, resistance increase. So, the answer has to be diameter or the radius whatever, right. Curvature also affect but much less than diameter, length also, right. Resistance is directly proportional to the length right and even material but keeping all these constant diameter is what is affecting the most so answer has to be diameter okay okay